Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's uh, first video of the weekend forecast for today's first video. As always, on a Saturday, we're having a detailed look at the weather for the weekend. Later on, we'll have our first look at Enzo of the year. So um, we'll be seeing what's going on in terms of El Nino, La Nina, that kind of thing in the Ecuador Pacific. Uh, that'll be coming up on the Enzo updates page this evening. Uh, before we get on with the weekend forecast, so just say about the ads, this new articles on the page. Just have a browse which is script through the links. If there's any articles that, that you're interested in, helping us page website. Thanks so much for doing that. There's also video ads most, most of the pages. They open up within the content. And if you give those a watch, you will be helping us to pay for our websites. The websites we're using for the uh, weekend broadcast coming from uh, wetsense.d and the weatherout.com. You can find it both websites on the next page. It's not going to be the most exciting week's weather we've ever had, so I'll try and rattle through as quickly as I can. We're going to start off with the radar picture, and we won't dwell on that too much because it's virtually universally dry across the whole of the country today. So let's move on to the Soxic pressure chart, and this is how things are set up. We've got high pressure across most parts of Europe, bringing in the south to southeasterly winds, which are dragging in colder air, cold air from off the continent. Uh, so we're going to find some wintry showers down across the southwest of England later on this afternoon. They'll push northwards in towards South Wales. Otherwise, it's going to be pretty much a dry day. Uh, and we're going to have very broad amounts of cloud and sunny spells. Had some dense fog uh, pa patches uh, early this morning. Most of that's gone now. Um, so it'll be a mix of sunny spells and variable cloud amounts through the course of this afternoon. Temperatures are going to be quite cold today, ranging from around 3 to 7 degrees. The coldest temperatures will be where uh, you're stuck under low cloud. Overnight tonight, we'll bring some wintry showers up from the southwest in towards Wales, possibly getting in towards the north of West Midlands and northwest England by the end of night. They won't amount to very much, but over high ground, there might just be a little dusting of snow uh, by morning. But generally, they're just going to be um, sort of sleety bits and pieces blowing in the wind, that kind of thing, I think, uh, to get overly concerned about. The bulk of the country will stay dry. And in the south and east again, going to be a widespread frost. Temperatures last night went down to minus 8 degrees. Well, I don't go quite that low tonight, but even so, we're getting down to minus... Five, minus six, possibly minus seven in some rural parts of uh, southern and southeastern. We'll have a really cold night coming up there. Less cold in the north and west because we'll have more cloud in places. Through the course of Sunday, going to be lots of dry weather coming up again. We may have those wintry showers around across northern parts of England and North Wales through the morning. I think they'll generally fizzle out, and then most places will be dry. Probably more cloud around than we've had today. Uh, but even so, a few brighter sunny spells will start to come through, particularly in the south and the east. It's going to be another cold day with temperatures of around 4 to uh, 7 degrees. We may have problems with fog uh, as we go into the start of next week. So that's, and that's particularly for England and Wales. So I think we could start off with some dense fog patches on Monday in the south of the east. And some of that fog might linger right way through the day. I don't think we'll have as much fog in the north and west because there'll be a freshening southwesterly breeze. Most places will stay dry, but uh, we could bring some cloud in towards west of Scotland and Northern Ireland by the end of the day. So reasonable amounts of sunshine probable on Monday, but also risk of some fog lingering all day. Where fog does linger, temperatures will barely be above freezing, just one or two degrees. Otherwise, again, it can be quite a cold day uh, with temperatures of around four or five degrees at best for most of us. Southwesty winds continue to freshen in the north and west on Tuesday, so it'll drag more cloud into Scotland and Northern Ireland. I think most places will stay dry. There could be some little bits and pieces of rain, particularly in the uh, Outer Hebrides and coming down into parts of uh, Northern Ireland and um, even into the Republic of Ireland as well. So breezier, cloudier and uh, fairly mild up in the north and the west. But for England and Wales, we'll remain close to this ridge of high pressure, which is going to keep things very quiet and we'll have a uh, continued risk of dense fog patches uh, across England and Wales on Tuesday. Again, some of those fog patches will linger all day. It'll be very cold where that happens with temperatures barely above freezing. Otherwise, two or three degrees uh, at best in the south and the east. Um, to around seven degrees up in the north and the west. 
That high pressure is still clinging on just to the east of us on Wednesday, but it is starting to be eroded by low pressure coming in from the Atlantic, turning windy across Scotland, Northern Ireland and Northwest England during the course of Wednesday. Winds becoming quite strong, possibly reaching gale force across Western Scotland and Ireland by the end of Wednesday afternoon. And there'll be outbreaks of rain moving in to the Northwest as well. Some of those outbreaks of rain will be heavy. England and Wales, again, it remains dry. We might start to clear some of the fog away here across parts of Wales and the Midlands, but further southeast, the winds are still very light, so there'll be a continued risk through the East Anglian Fens and down into southeast England of dense fog patches remaining right the way through the day. Uh, otherwise, there will be sunny spells coming through. Temperatures up to around 5 degrees in the sunshine, barely above freezing where fog is lingering, although Scotland and Northern Ireland will eventually see temperatures um, moving up towards 10 degrees by the end of Wednesday afternoon. And then the real change starts to take place on Thursday as this weather system moves in from the north and west. I think the breeze will freshen even in the southeast, clearing away that fog during the course of Thursday, probably remaining dry on the eastern side. But in the uh, west, there will be cloud and outbreaks of heavy rain. And that rain will be spreading southwards and eastwards across the country through the course of day, with brighter skies and showers following along behind. Temperature still cold in the east at around 5 or 6 degrees, but in the west will be much milder temperatures 10 or 11 degrees for many western parts of the country the atlantic breaks through on thursday night bring rain even in, even into the southeast that'll clear away first thing on friday leaving us with a much windier day uh winds are from the west or southwest so it would be milder but we'll start to see showers coming into the north and some of those could be heavy possibly even a bit thundery for parts of scotland england wales mostly dry with uh, sunny spells. Uh, temperatures up to around 8 degrees in the east to around 12 degrees in the west. And then over the weekend, it looks unsettled. It's going to be wet and windy on both Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so expect bouts of wind and rain swinging across the country during the course of uh, Saturday and Sunday. Showers in between. Temperatures will be very mild, though, up to around uh, 10 degrees widely across the country. Some parts of southwest England might go up to around 14 degrees this weekend or next weekend. That's 57 Fahrenheit, and it will feel uh, like a proper burst of spring uh, next weekend of the final weekend of January. Finally, just have a look at the weather outlook.com, see whether in your area lots of dry weather coming up today but it is cold uh, and that's the case for uh, Sunday as well and even into Monday and Tuesday lots of dry weather coming up cold where any fog lingers that's particularly in the south and the east turning a bit more unsettled later on in the week uh, but otherwise not a great deal going on so in summary we're going to be uh, keeping a lot of dry weather going through much of this week going to be quite cold especially through the early part of the week later on it's going to get milder uh, and uh, by the end of the week I think we're going back to wet and windy conditions by Friday and into next weekend watch out for fog in the south and the east through the early part of the week that's all for now thanks for watching